Hello, friends. <clears throat> One of the things uh, that is recommended for the process of awakening to your spiritual essence is something called taking the stand that I am witnessing awareness. Take the stand. I'm witnessing awareness. Witnessing awareness does not judge. It simply observes whatever appears on the screen of consciousness. This significantly alters our perception of reality in many ways. First of all, it brings about uh, increased uh, awareness of presence itself. Many people, you know, talk about uh, mindfulness, which uh, is basically observing thoughts and actions without attachment. And this uh, gives you greater clarity. It reduces stress. It enhances clarity. But I have a caveat here. Being aware of the present moment is not the same thing as being presence in the moment, being presence. Being is just presence. Present moment is a moment in time. But being as presence actually creates the experience of beauty in every object and love in every sentient being. In any case, Taking the stand of witnessing awareness allows you to bring presence into every experience in the moment. It also allows you to experience detachment from temporal concerns. By observing thoughts and experiences without attachment, we feel less bound by the usual constraints of time. This can lead to a sense of timelessness or a more fluid perception of time's passage. There's an altered sense of duration when we are fully present or bring presence, awareness to every experience, our perception of time's duration can change. Moments may feel longer or richer as we notice more details and nuances in our experiences. There's also reduced time anxiety. The witnessing stand can help alleviate the stress and pressure often associated with time, allowing for a more relaxed and expansive temporal experience. Time sickness is one of the pandemics of our age. If your internal dialogue says, I'm running out of time all the time, then everything speeds up in your body. Biological clock speeds up. Um, therefore, aging speeds up. Platelets get jittery with high levels of adrenaline. Cortisol causes a weak immune system. So if you're constantly saying, I'm running out of time, there's a risk of actually running out of time from a heart attack or inflammation or whatever. So witnessing awareness also heightens um, awareness of change. By observing without judgment, we may become more attuned to the constant flux of our experiences, leading to a more dynamic and less linear perception of time. However, the most important aspect of taking that stand of witnessing awareness is that you become aware of yourself as the non-changing factor in every experience. Every experience is in time, but you, the witness of the experience, are not in time. And that's a big deal because all our fears of death and this and that are actually identifying with that which happens in time and not identifying the timeless factor in every experience that happens in time. You, 
as witnessing awareness are the non-changing factor in every changing experience, eternal, timeless, inconceivable, imperceivable, invisible, and not subject to birth and death. Okay, just a reminder, this book is coming out in September, but in the meanwhile, you can go to digitaldeepak.ai and ask me any question. Please do so. Any question on spirituality or well-being? Okay, thanks.